Design a combinational logic circuit that will light a lamp whenever switches are set to a primary number between 0 and 7. The schematic diagram for such a circuit is shown here. Here we can see we have three switches A, B and C. Now these switches are the number we require in order to give us all of the combinations of input numbers between 0 and 7. And we are going to actually put the combinational circuit in here and the output F is the lamp which will either be on or off depending on the input combinations we have at A, B and C. A prime number is a number that can only be divided exactly, i.e. no fractional result, by 1 and itself. 6 can be divided by 1, 2, 3 and 6, therefore 6 is not a prime number. So the prime numbers between 0 and 7 are 2, 3, 5 and 7. 1 is not regarded as a prime number. Let's consider the input switches which we know are A, B and C and these are all of the combinations starting off at all 0 going right through to when they're all 1's. And of course then we have to consider the lamp and the lamp is the output F. And here we're going to write the deanery or decimal numbers if you like for each of these binary numbers. So these are the equivalent of the binary numbers. That's prime, that's prime, that's prime and that is prime. Now we now know we've got a 1 in all of these positions for all of the prime numbers as we can see by these arrows here. Now we fill in the rest as a 0 because they're not the prime numbers and then we produce the min term for each occasion we have a 1 and previous videos will show you how to do this. Consequently we have all of those min terms. Consequently, the output of F is represented by the sum of min terms I'm writing down here. The thing to do now is to take this sum of min terms and minimise it, as you can see here. Well, I can see I've got the not A and the B in common to the first two terms, so I'll take those outside of the brackets, leaving inside the not C or the C. And I can have a look at the remaining two terms, and I can say they have A and C in common, so I'll take those outside the brackets and leave B or not B in the brackets. Now if we look very careful we can, should know that this is an axiom that gives us 1. This is an axiom that gives us 1. Consequently we can therefore say that we end up with not A and B anded with the 1. Or with the A and the C anded with the 1. Now another axiom should inform us that this one here, the not A and the B with the 1 can simply become not A and B, and the A and C and 1 can simply become A and C. Now, so that's the minimization of that Boolean expression. Let's check our own workings by using a three variable Carnot map that I am labeling appropriately here. Now the first term we're interested in is this one here, not A and B and not C, which is, we can see, this particular area here. If we look at the next sum of min terms, which is this one here, we can see that's not A, B and C, which is this region. If I look at the next sum of min terms, this one here, well, that's in the region of A, not B and C, which means plotting a 1 here. And finally, we have this sum of min terms, A, B and C, as we can see is in these regions here, so we plot a 1 there. Of course, the next thing to do is to loop the 1s appropriately. So I loop those two 1s there, and I'm also going to loop these two 1s. Now that's sufficient, we've looped all the 1s with as few loops as possible. Now this particular loop is in the A and the C area, so it's A and C. And this one is in the not A and the B area, so that's not A and B. Consequently, we can say that F becomes not A and B, which is this term, and that's going to be odd together with A and C, which is this term here. Now, if we look very carefully, we can see that that's what we did to begin with, and we've just done it again with a Carnot map, and we can see they're the same. So we must have done it right. We've checked our own workings. For the simplified expression, we produce the combinational logic circuit.
we write out the variables as you can see here and we take the a through a not gate to give us not a and then we take the b and the not a through an and gate and what this will do it will give us at the output the not a and the b and then we draw another AND gate because we need to produce the other min term which we can see is A and C which means taking a tap off the A, taking that into the gate and also taking the C. We then put both of the outputs from the AND gates to the inputs of an OR gate and that will give us F here. Now F will now be the outputs from the AND gates all together as we can see here and that went into the or that went into the or so we can see that this min term is this one here this min term is this and of course we can see they're all together because this is an or gate now all of this combinational logic circuit here is placed in here within the schematic diagram it's now a question of joining the switches to the combinational logic circuit which i'm showing in different colors here and finally we can put the C and of course we need to connect the output F to the lamp. Let's consider each of the switches. We can see that A must be a zero because the switch is actually open. Likewise if we have a look at B that's open so that must be a zero and finally C must be a zero. Now if we go to the combinational logic circuit we can see that A, B and C must be zero. So not A must be a one which goes into the AND gate and this zero also goes into the AND gate. If we look at A and C, we can see that they go to the second AND gate, so we have a zero and a zero to the second AND gate. Now this combination here will give me a zero at the output of this AND gate, and this zero, zero gives me a zero at this AND gate. We follow those zeros through to the OR gate, and we can see that those two conditions give us here a zero which is what we want because we want the lamp to be off and of course the lamp will be off when we have a zero at F. Of course we want the lamp to be off because zero at the input means that we haven't got a prime number at the input. Let's choose an example where we do have a prime number at the input. Now we have a one at A because the switch is closed, we have a zero at B because the switch is open and C is obviously a 1 because the switch is closed. So we have 1, 0, 1 to the base 2, which is 5 in our number system, and that is an example of a prime number. Let's supply that combination to A, B, and C here. So we can say not A is a 0, and we can follow the two zeros to the AND gate here, which gives us a 0 at the output. Now if we follow the 1 down from the A to the input of this AND gate and the C, we can see we have two 1s, which gives us a 1 here. Consequently, into this OR gate we get a 0 and a 1, and that's sufficient to give us a 1 at F. Consequently, the lamp is switched on. You now need to convince yourself that all the other combinations work in exactly the way in which you expect.